I've prepared here some scores. <laughs> you just uh, maybe you could bring the lights, the house lights up a little bit. And uh, the other thing is everything we do is across the table. So. And, and we left our messages. <laughs>
Los Angeles Science Fantasy Society and welcome to our clubhouse. This is the world's oldest running science fiction society in the world, if not the universe, if not in this dimension. And this is our actual clubhouse. This clubhouse is the third in the line of Los Angeles, the Los Angeles Science Fantasy Society. This clubhouse is located at 11513 Burbank Boulevard in North Hollywood, California. 
and uh, this clubhouse is actually in two parts. This front building is known as the 4SJ building. The 4SJ building is named after 4SJ Ackerman. It's a fun little name system. Uh, we're right now in the main hallway, but we're going to start where we always start. This is the largest private lending library of science fiction and fantasy found in the United States. It is open to all members. Members who join the club are uh, allowed at least two to three weeks of renting out books. Our books start over here in aisle one, behind me. Aisle one happens to have all the softbound books in alphabetical order by author and then by title, which continues all the way up to the A's and the Z's down here in this aisle. Now along this side of the aisle, we also find the starting of serials and novels and paperbacks. Everything down here from The Man From U.N.C.L.E. to the Star Wars, Star Trek series, uh, Space Precinct, any other type of book you can think of, we have here. Also somewhere along this wall right here, as we come in to see the Star Wars, Star Trek series, we also have many of the original Fantastic Stories novels right here, as well as fantastic, great science fiction, uh, the Ace Doubleday books, the blue and white Ace Double Day books, which means there's a book sorry, one end is over here. Days. You will find, oh, I should also mention, we have an abundant number of periodicals behind us. Everything from Focus, Locus, and uh, Science Fiction Quarterly, Weird and Fantasy Tales. But through this doorway and through this curtain, we will find right behind me the uh, children's reading section, children's reading library, somewhere below me, behind me, in the non-fiction section we are referencing. Ironically, we have a non-fiction section. The non-fiction section is about science fiction and fantasy. Go figure. Also, you'll find that we have many number of books that are under repair, but we also have a rare collection of hardcover and hardbound books, all the way from the 1940s on till day of Galaxy, uh, Astounding Stories, Galaxy Press, as well as the original hard uh, softcover. Welcome back to your virtual tour of Lost Books. Behind me is a bulletin board that contains flyers and information on events happening in and around the club, as well as Southern California, across the nation, around the globe. Various events and conventions are listed here, as well as LA Con 4, the 64th annual convention of science fiction and fantasy from around the world. Los Angeles is proud to be hosting that. As well as the Los Angeles Science Fantasy Society hosts Lost Con. This year is Lost Con 31, is the Escape to LA. It is a celebration of science fiction, fantasy, literature, and media. It is a family fun and family oriented convention being held at the LAX Marriott Thanksgiving weekend. This is the computer room. The computer room is often used by various members of the club to help fix some of their old computers, and often were all just donated items that really didn't work. We left this to the computer clubs to put together their own computers, do modifications, etc. More often lately, we find that the younger generation takes over the room to play games, and often against each other. They put in a LAN hub and we're playing computer versus computer. They decided, you know, you guys are a little outdated. We can help you upgrade. Younger generation at work, they got permission of the board of directors, and they upgraded all these computers. They made them themselves. Wow. They got the shelving in and still managed to keep a majority of the elements that the rest of the club uses to upgrade computers, fix older computers, and give a chance for the computer club people to go, hey, let's see if we can install this. And probably this is the only place left you can find several good three and a quarter floppy disks. Or five and a quarter. Well, you know, those really huge things. Floppy disks. The artwork remains from Margie Ellers, who uh, put together the Earth to the Moon. I'm sorry, the moon to the earth. Of course, there are a couple uh, starship models flying around. The room we're in now is the main commons room. The main commons room is a place where we all like to hang out. The bulletin board behind me over here is the latest work that we can put up. Uh, often authors like Larry Niven like to put up their latest uh, hardback covers and information generals put up. Things for sale, things that can be done. Interesting. See, this is our general courtyard. It is uh, a two-part clubhouse. The front building is our main administrative with the library. And the courtyard area is for the enjoyment of everyone, the great outdoors, etc. Behind me the meeting me. hall is where our general meetings are held on Thursdays, as well as our various weekend events. It also holds LalaCon, our annual spring lexicon. Occasionally, before the meeting, we like to see cereals. No, no, not like Captain Crush. Cereals like... Uh, Flash Gordon for the original Buck Rogers. Occasionally we take a little walk and watch a couple of the serial pieces, even uh, up to the Lone Ranger. Just something fun before the deluge of the meeting starts. 
as you can see, it's a very eclectic sort of place to be. It's a most comfortable and enjoyable place to be. Everyone hangs around, everyone enjoys the niceties, the craziness of everyone's company. Everything you could want is here, even a refrigerator full of sodas. Now the back room behind me, with the big rocket on it, is the main Apple room, or the Amateur Press Association. Basically, uh, it has all the machinery and computers you need to print out full-scale newsletters, program books, things of particular interest to the rest of the world. Now, I could tell you the rest about the whole place, because I've missed a lot of things. But, you guys are just going to have to find out for yourself if you come out to Los Angeles to 11513 Burbank Boulevard in North Hollywood, California. So, that ends the virtual tour for now, and you'll have to face up with the real me in a little bit. This is a song I made famous in Berlin. <laughs> Circa 
stole the song from me.